Imagine running powerful AI agents to do some of your daily complex work all without writing a single piece of code and for free. Wouldn't that be amazing? Okay, it's time to test. So we are going to create a new session and then search uh, research paper from archive. Um, once I have given the task, the user proxy agent have asked the assistant agent to do the work and complete the task. So the assistant agent have created necessary code to call archive API and get the paper. And then it has given it to user proxy agent and user proxy agent has executed the code and it has found four research paper related to the topic that I have asked. So if you are a small business owner or executive in a firm or generally someone who would like to use the powerful AI technology using AI agents, all with very no code and low code solutions, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Abhijit. You are watching Now Together, where I try to simplify latest technology and innovations for your future in your business. Welcome back. In this video, I'll try to run full AI agents using Autogen user interface. And in the end, I'll create a simple blueprint for you so you can run AI agents using UI and open source large language model locally for free. If you are new to the channel or in general new to AI agents or Autogen framework, I have already discussed briefly about what is AI agents and how Autogen framework works previously in this channel. I'll attach the link in the description and you should be able to also see it somewhere in your right. For our first goal, which is to run the AI agent using user interface, we are going to use this article. This is published by the Autogen team from Microsoft. For the second goal, which is to run large language model locally, we are going to use a program or a software called Olama. Now, I have already covered about Olama, how to run it on Windows, because specifically Windows version is not available. So if you haven't watched the video, I'll put the link down somewhere in your right, and you should be able to see um, how to run multiple large language models in your Windows system, uh, even in your basic consumer graded hardware. To start, I'll go to my Visual Studio, and because I'm on Windows machine, I need to run something called WSL. It's called Windows Subsystem for Linux. If you haven't watched my previous video about how to run Olama on Windows, please take a look at that video and you will see how to install WSL in your Windows system. Now that I'm inside the WSL, the first thing that I need to do is to create a Python virtual environment. Make sure your Python is already installed. I'm going to create an environment called Python UI agent using Python 3.1.1 version. Now that my Python environment is created, I am going to activate the Python environment. So at this stage, I'm going to run Olama run Mistral to check whether my Olama instance is running fine or not. Now the problem with Olama is the API endpoint provided by Olama is not compliant to the OpenAI API standard because OpenAI has been used by most of the projects today. So we need to find a way to make sure that our Olama API works just as an OpenAI API works. So to do that, we need to install a Python module called Light LM. So we are going to install pip installs Light LLM. So this will ensure that when we load the Olama models, at using light llm the api endpoints will be exactly same as how the openai endpoint looks like we, we are going to run light llm dash dash model olama open harness 2.5 this will load the open harness 2.5 model right so now it is running and this is available on 8000 next we are going to open another wsl console in this wsl console we are going to load the same python environment so on the pivot ui that it is installed we have to focus on our first code, which is to run the Autogen user interface. To do that, we need to install Autogen RA. That will ensure your Autogen user interface is ready. As I said before, most of the project use OpenAI endpoints. That's why we have to set the OpenAI key. But this time, we are not going to actually set a real OpenAI key. Rather than that, what we will do is we'll just set an invalid OpenAI key. And this is just to ensure that the user interface is working it because otherwise user interface will fail by saying that the uh, variable doesn't exist so we want to avoid that that's why we have set an invalid open ai api we are not going to use the open ai api we are rather going to use our local large language model so now if i run autogen raw minus ui port 8081 that means my autogen user interface is running on this let's take this out Now, to go through the UI. So, UI have multiple sections. First section is agent workflow. So, at the moment, based on their documentation, they only support two types of workflow, general agent workflow and visualization agent workflow. The difference between these two workflows is, in general agent workflow, a user proxy and, a, and, and another assistant work together to get you a text output. However, if you run with visual agent workflow, your outcome that you're expecting out of your agent is a visual representation. So, it could be an image, it could be a graph plot, 
okay so coming back to the settings for the general agent workflow we can see there are two type of agent one is user proxy agent another is primary assistant agent the user proxy agent and primary assistant agent will communicate with each other to complete a given a task you can set the maximum number of auto reply that it can use to communicate with each other to complete a given task you can set the system message as in an instruction for the agent about what it is able to do to complete the task now the user interface comes with predefined models that we are not going to use so we have deleted that and we are going to use our local large language model so we will click on add uh, we will give the model name as open Hermes, as we are using in this case and then we are copying the url which is localhost 800 we are just copying it into the console and yeah we are ready the autogen user interface comes with three global skills um, this is nothing but just a few python functions which is like utilities that you can give the agent so the agent can use these um, skills to perform various actions you can also define your own skills by clicking new skills and adding new user skills okay it's time to test so we are going to create a new session and then search uh, research paper from archive and um, once i have given the task the user proxy agent have asked the assistant agent to do the work and complete the task so the assistant agent have created necessary code to call archive api and get the paper and then it has given it to user proxy agent and user proxy agent has executed the code and it has found four research paper related to the topic that i've asked this was a short tutorial on autogen ui with locally hosted large language model you can make this more powerful with your defined user skills if you want to see how to create user skills without writing code yourself let me know in the comments and i'll cover it in the future videos that's it for today's video if you are interested in creating ai agents autonomously for a given task you can click the link on top right corner of this video Please stay tuned for the next video where I will explain how AI agents such as GPTs can be hacked easily to give out information you don't want to be disclosed and then discuss how to build your own AI agents securely for your business and personal projects using ChatGPT interface. Till then, take care, subscribe to this channel and I will see you on the next one.